the city treats them you know, like the garbage. Homelessness is a big issue all around the world. But let's take a second to focus on homelessness in Chicago. Before I begin, what is the definition of homeless? Homeless is defined as a person lacking stable and appropriate housing. People can be categorized as homeless if they are living on the streets and moving between temporary shelters or temporarily staying at a friend's house. An estimate of nearly 60,000 Chicagoans were homeless in 2019. People were either in shelters, on the street, or temporarily staying with others. Today, I have two guest speakers that will provide their input on the issue of homelessness in Chicago. My name is Alanis Rios. Thank you for being here today. Can you please state your name? My name is Mark Mokarski. My name is Erica King. It's a shame that there's so many of them. And I've always wondered what their story is. Um, I know I've read that it was a couple of years ago, there's an encampment by my house, not too far. And one of the gentlemen had passed away, but he had family, he had money. And his family said that that was the life he wanted to live. And I thought that was really interesting. And it really made me think like, what are those stories? Definitely have had um, a pretty hands-on experiences with homeless people in my life. So my mom runs a nonprofit that um, helps kids who have aged out of the foster care system and then are homeless to go through college. So I've spent a lot of my holidays with um, kids who are homeless um, for Christmas and kind of Thanksgiving, those kind of things. So I feel pretty comfortable. The lack of availability and resources for them is embarrassing. That's pretty bad here. I think it's like, you probably know the answer to this. I know it's like, a, more than like 50 grand, maybe like 80 grand or something. The city goes out of its way to make sure that they can't sleep in certain places by either setting up fencing or, um, or I don't know what they're called, but they build like these cement structures so nobody can lay down and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I've also seen a lot of anti-homeless architecture, mm -hmm. especially in downtown. Or like if there's a bench, they put stuff in the middle so people can't sleep there. That's like really sad to see. That's very sad. Uh, one of my biggest worries, I think, is just it, the, how cold it gets in this in the winter uh, to be homeless here. And I know that a lot of shelters have a lot of rules and like restrictions mm -hmm. for some people. So in just in the winter, it's just hard to imagine. If they could lift some of the, I know like if you're intoxicated or like on drugs, you often can't get into shelters. Um, and I think that that's not right because a lot of times people who are on drugs or intoxicated are the ones who need the help the most. So they should uh, take down some of those restrictions. So through COVID, when all of these restaurants and whatnot were allowed to all of a sudden take over the street and set up little outdoor houses so that they can make their money, mm -hmm. and the city helped fund that, why can't the city help fund some type of housing for homeless people? <laughs> There just there needs to be more services, more opportunities. Not, you know, leave me alone, but you know, come here. What what do you need? Like, how can we help you? Farther down Kedzie, a couple blocks is where underneath the expressway there's a uh, an encampment um, that the alderman does. You know, he allows it and he lets them do what they need to do, which I think is great. You know, they have their tents set up, they have everything set up in there. Yeah. Uh, pe people drop off clothing and food and stuff like that for them, uh, but it's clearly not an organized. Of course, of course, of course. No, okay. no problem.